السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا ومرحبا في الجزء السادس والأخير من المحاضرة الثانية من محاضرات هندسة البرمجيات واحد Welcome to the sixth and last part of Software Engineering 1 Lecture 2 In this part basically I will not explain anything but there will be a cartoon character explaining uh, the uh, vending machine uh, simulator problem هيبقى في فيلم كرتوني بيشرح vending machine مكنة وضع الفلوس وأخذ مشروبات او مأكولات وانت هتحاول تعمل موديل او نموذج لهذه الماكينة وجميع مشتملاتها حسب وصف هذا الشخص الكرتوني جايز تحتاج تسمع عدة مرات وتوقف وتعيد تاني وهكذا You may need to listen to this uh, cartoon video a few times until you fully understand the uh, vending machine domain and then you identify uh, all the important nouns in that domain Remove repeated nouns, remove irrelevant nouns, remove nouns that could be features or attributes, and then settle on what classes you will have in this model and what features or attributes and operations you'll need to put on them. هتتابع الخطوات اللي قلناها قبل كده في الجزء الخامس بحيث انك تشرح بحيث انك عفوا تفهم مسألة وتمشي على الخطوات دي تحدد ايه الأسماء اللي موجودة ايه الأسماء اللي ملهاش لازمة تحذفها الأسماء اللي ممكن تبقى attributes أو خصائص تحذفها ايه العمليات الممكنة لكل كلاس وبعد كده تدفاين الكلاسات بتاعتك تحط فيها العمليات اللي ممكنة ليها تحط فيها الاتريبيوس الممكنة ليها وتعمل موديل او كلاس ديجرام او نموذج للفندنج ماشين شكرا والسلام عليكم In this video we are going to build a model for a vending machine for snack food items This machine allows the buyer to insert coins or bills to buy one of the displayed items These data have to be saved in the system plus the amount and type of coins available in the system. The system has only one type of users which is the buyer. User can insert coins of type 0.5 or 1 Egyptian pounds or bills of type 5, 10 or 20 Egyptian pounds. If the machine ran out of the desired item, it will display a message saying that the item is not available and giving the buyer the choice of picking another item or retrieving his money. The buyer has the choice of cancel buying the desired item after inserting the money and before choosing an item. If all the available items are finished and the machine is totally empty, it stops accepting money. What we need now is to design the system by identifying the possible classes and their details and relations. The steps of designing the system we will 1. Read the problem description very carefully. 2. Identify all the nouns in the problem description. 3. Refine a noun list by removing nouns that represent the same concept. Removing nouns that represent concepts irrelevant to the problem solution. Removing nouns that represent objects or instances of classes. Removing nouns that can be data fields in classes represented by primitive data types. 4. Identify the responsibilities, operations, of each class. 5. Refine the model until it captures all the required details. So let's start the design phase. First let's list the nouns in the system that are relevant to the problem definition. Vending machine, coin, food item, stock of the machine. That's great. According to the steps defined before we now indicated the class that will be used in our system. Now the classes in our system would be coin class, vending machine, stock and food item. There is just a small problem. Coin class just represents the amount of a specific coin. So we need a class that collects the coins inserted by the user. So we will need to add coin handler class. Now, we need to define the relations between these classes. The class coin handler will be responsible for managing coins in the coin class. Stock class will hold the food items in the vending machine. Vending machine class will be responsible for checking the coins at the coin handler and pick the food item from the stock for it. Now we define the relations between the class so the behavior of each class become obvious. Now from that we can define each class behavior. Coin class is just a one coin holder. 
Coin handler is considered to be the holder of many coins in it that manages the coins collected from the buyer and increases coins added by user or decrease it. It checks amount of money added and returns amount it is asked to return. It is considered to be the accountant of the vending machine. Stock class manages food items inside the vending machine. It holds many food items that it can use from it. The vending machine class is the main system that defines the way of interaction with the user. It allows user to insert money, choose food item from the listed items, and it returns change if needed. The system is designed successfully. Thanks for listening. And goodbye.